morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on what time of day you're watching this, only whereabouts in the world you are. I'm Mod, this is the F1 2013 Racing It Championship that we're doing for Team Tuxedo. Again, if you want to join it at home, just share your times. We're, this week we are at Shanghai and we're using the Caterham, or in this case the Rainbow Dash Skoda. Now, um, I don't really know how I did in the Ferraris, but I do have the results from Australia when we're using the Jordans. Or should I say the false Indies? Um, I came last with 125.5. Warlock was third with 125.2. DF got 125 flat, and Squirrel was a whole second quicker, 124 flat. Now moving forwards on to where are we? Sounds gone for a moment because I need to switch to this week's Shanghai Caterham. Currently, Mr. Watson is in the lead with a 137.8, Squirrel is a 138.4, I'm on 140.1, a whole 2.3 seconds behind Watson, and Locke is 140.3. I'm actually beating somebody, yay! So without further ado, let's just get ourselves out onto the track and have ourselves a bit of fun. Now the Caterham actually handles quite nicely in my opinion. At least I think it does. Let's hug the inside curb here. Are we going to get corner cutting? Yeah, I thought so. Let's just stick with the lap anyway. Let's see how we get on. Nope. Screwed it. Restart. Next lap penalised. Okay, fine. I'll just restart that one then. God. This game's so fucking shit. And harsh. Just to let everybody know, I have pre-ordered F1 2014. And I don't see how anything's going to change. Oh, didn't get a corner cutting. Fantastic. I have to remember that. Oh, oh, no. Turn, turn, you piece of shit. There we go. And already my previous best is up on myself. Yay! Let's take a leaf out of everybody else's books, because they always do corner cutting like mad. We'll have to see. Yeah, I actually think this catering's got a decent amount of... It doesn't understeer. I like it. And regular viewers will know how much I love understeer. Oh wait, there we go, that's a bit. Ah, that's my own fault. So we need a warm-up lap anyway, that's what we're doing. We're doing a warm-up lap, yeah. I definitely need to work on my braking. And also the power application by the feel of it. Did you hear the wheel spin all through there? Wow. But we've got a great run out the corner. DRS. Saving all our curves for the next lap. That's what we're doing. Saving our curves. Hopefully we can get a faster lap here. Balls that up completely. Power. Press the DRS and boom across the line. 142.3 but it's a penalised lap anyway. Turn, you piece of shit. I'm amazed that wasn't corner cutting, but never mind, onwards. It's definitely in the breaking losing all my time compared to everybody else. I just wish I knew how to, I wish I knew how to do it. Obviously, don't just jam the brakes on because that's where you lose all your time. Because you lock up all the brakes. Maybe 
breaking too early, but then if I do break too early, I miss marks and it goes straight on. Yeah, let's save the rest of the curves for the rest of the lap now. For the end of the lap even, because we're going to have to do another lap. Because I don't think we're going to beat 140.1 somehow. I don't know how I even got that in the first place. Yep, there we go. Locked up the brakes. Power, power, power. DRS and curse and over the finish line, 142.1 again. I think two seconds slower than I previous best. That's it, turn, 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 turn. Gentle, gentle with the power. Now flat. Can't believe I'm coaching myself through this fucking. Oh, and I fluffed it up because I put the power on too early. Speed, power. We need slightly down this time. Honestly, if I can get under 140, I'll be happy. Now I'm told I can save a lot of time with that little hairpin there, but honestly, I don't. Every time I try it, I get corner footing. I'm not willing to try it. I'll try it on the next lap, just so you guys can see exactly how much of a fucking faff it is. Also a max now. Oh god. How do we not get a corner footing then? Okay, I'll remember that for next time. Oh, oh. No. Let's just go to the garage. I think we need a bit more top end. Let's play with the gearbox. That'll do. Suspension, equal front and rear, stiffness, no, let's have it a little bit softer. Go to track, let's see what cha difference these changes have made, if any. Power, 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 and across the line to begin our flying lap. Turn, turn, turn. Aha! Oh! Fluffed up a little bit. There we go. That's looking better already. Turn, you heap of shit. That's my fault, not the cars. It was not in steering lock. Don't worry. Maybe in the next lap I'll try to cut in that a bit more. This is going to be a good lap. I can feel it. We've been too aggressive with the gearing. Nice rotation there, mod. Ah, you fucker. That's fucked up our line out of the corner, but oh, 139.3. That's got us up to within a second of the others. Let's go for another run. Plenty of time left to be found still. Lock, are you watching? This is how you do it.
Turn, that's it. Beautiful car. Oh, look at that split time I just realised. There you go, corner cutting, Watson. Corner cutting. Return to garage. Gearbox. Turn you down, you down, you down. That'll do. And go, so what's that? A 130 something. I forgot what it was now. But squirrels on a 138.4. Bear in mind that's at the time of recording. This is Tuesday. They've got plenty of time to beat it yet. Oh shit! Let's see, let's actually check our downforce levels. I don't know how high or low they are. Nine. That might be why I'm going so nicely. Turn it down a bit. Gives a bit more acceleration on those straights. I think we can hang on through the corners. Right, let's have another go. 139.3 to beat. Oh, messed that up a bit, and again. Let's see how this setup does on the straight now. I tweak the wing levels as well, though. Break way too early there. Way too early. Power. Save the normal curse for the back straight now, because this is lap's definitely slower. Put the power down. More power. All the curves. Let me just use all the curves here because I can't. Boom. 190, 192, 94. 95 maxed out at the bottom of the straight, perfect. Didn't get the rotation quite as light. I'm happy with that for, as far as I'm concerned. That would have been faster than my previous best anyway. No, it wouldn't. It would have been slightly slower, but we're talking hundredths slower, just looking at the time. And oh, beautiful mod, beautiful. That was nasty, and it shows because of behind. Closing. Corner cutting, fantastic. That's it, that's it, rear end is now under control. Oh shit. Just a bit of a fuck up there. And then it artificially ch chokes you when you go offline. Just so you don't cheat. Thanks, game.
Right, we'll make this my last lap. Let's make sure it's a good one then, Mod. Come on, come on, come on. Purple. Braked too fucking early again, though. Oh, god damn it! How aggressive can we be with these curbs? Reasonably. Oh, no, there goes the time. Bollocks. I don't get how the others can cut it. I really don't. Now why can't the car rotate like that all the time? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing different than all the other corners? now okay change my mind one last lap because we keep compromising our exit over that corner like that Well, that went well. Quite good a direction change actually this thing is. Yes, that's better. Not the best, but better. That's what I've had. Yes, that was good. And pop. Still, oh, we've overtaken ourselves. Excellent. Let's not fuck up the braking. Like that, bollocks, we did fuck up the braking. But not by much, not by much. Okay, one more go. <laughs> one more go. I don't want to make you guys watching me do the same bloody thing over and over and over and over. I'll do it. I'm sure it's uh, you know, I'm sure it's much fun for a few of you out there, but nope. That's it. Nice little drift on the rear end there. That's what's trying to go for. The little rear end rotating round. It's really hard to do. It really is. I'm sure that once I get the hang of it properly, I'll be able to maybe keep up with the others. Still up for how much? By 500. Power, 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 power. Daylight between me and the other car. Excellent. Don't fuck up the braking on this one. 
like that. There, we did it! And that was a 139.1! I'll take that! I will take that! That's uh, within a second of Watson, I think. No, Squirrel. It's within a second of Squirrel. I'll take that. So on that note guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll be Mod, dream big, we'll see you next week. No, you'll see, you'll actually see me on Monday for the next round of our F1 co-op championship with Squirrel. But if you want more race net, come back next Friday. Oh shit. <laughs> this has been a fuck awful car to look at by the way. Who designed this? Was it Watson, Lock or Squirrel? Either way, it's fucking awful. Look at it, it's an eyesore. I like how it's got all the world's worst sponsors on there. YouTube. Codemasters, Playboy, Starbucks, Rainbow Dash, yay. Well, there's nothing wrong with Skoda anymore. Anyway, dream big, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.